Okay, so what we're going to look at now are Ansible roles. So I've got the documentation up here on the screen, as you can see, and it's very brief in describing what a role is. Roles are a way of automatically loading certain VARS files, tasks, and handlers based on a known file structure. So effectively, grouping content by roles also allows easy sharing of roles with other users. Okay, so a role is like a package of code, and ideally a role should manage one thing. So it should manage your users, or it should manage your MySQL databases. It should manage your elastic file system mounts within your AWS environment. So a role shouldn't, for example, set up a MySQL database, configure a WordPress installation, like download WordPress and install it, get it all configured, get it talking, and then download a theme for WordPress, and then send an email to all your mates to tell them about your new blog, right? A role should be very purposeful, should have one purpose, and it should do that, that one purpose or that one job very, very well. So a role consists of a directory structure, which you can actually see here again in the documentation. So I'm gonna just increase the font size a little bit because it doesn't impede on the visibility. So you can still see that there on the screen. So as you can see, we've got a folder here called roles. So this is the root. This is where our master.yaml file is. And we have a folder called roles. And then we have a role called common. And under common, we have several folders that are, some are optional and, sh and some aren't optional. So for example, tasks is not optional. A role has to have tasks, but default and meta VARs, templates, files, and handlers are, are optional, okay? They're optional folders. So at minimum, a role will have a name, so it'll be a folder with a name, common or web servers, and then you'd have a tasks directory. And inside of tasks, you can actually put as many playbooks as you want in there, okay? Um, and they will get they will get executed. 